Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be my brand review of Elemis. Elemis is a brand that quite a few of you had asked me to review. I admit that I didn't know a lot about this brand going into this trial. None of this was sent to me. This is all products that I did purchase with my own money and rather slowly. I think we've discussed this before. I like to kind of take my time picking out products over months and months. I like to buy travel sizes or little curated sets so that I can get a feel for a brand without, you know, just buying a ton of full sizes for a two week time span. It makes sense. But one thing that stood out to me from the very beginning with this brand is that it seems there's a lot of brand loyalty among people who use this brand. So I kind of had to really dig and figure out why before even doing this trial because I like to ask these questions. I like to know, you know, why are people drawn to an entire brand? So I'll go ahead and start this video off with a little bit of information about Elemis. Elemis calls themselves the number one luxury brand in Britain. You did it! Congratulations! Britain's number one luxury brand. You guys know by now that I go into every brand review with a, a healthy dose of skepticism. You know, if a brand is making intense claims, I want to figure out why they feel that they can make those. You know, what really, what do you have backing that claim? And something really interesting that I noticed with this brand that I haven't seen for quite some time is when I was reading reviews, because you know I always do read reviews before I come on camera to give my review, uh, I noticed a lot of people were saying that they found this brand through some kind of a spa treatment and in fact a lot of them specifically on a cruise ship. And you know the last time I saw that I think we'd have to go all the way back to Dermalogica. Not every brand is out there promoting a spa experience or directly being in spas but I do think that's a big part of Elemis. So one thing you need to know from the very beginning of this video is that this is not a fragrance-free brand at all. If you are looking for fragrance-free skincare, I will direct you to some other video, I don't know which one yet, but some other video where I do have an entire fragrance-free brand. In fact, with Elemis, it seems to me that a big part of the appeal is these smells, and it is something that they are not hesitant to tell you. They say that the aromatherapy aspect of these products is part of what enhances the experience. But it certainly does make me hesitant. It makes me a little nervous. And that's just the truth because I've had fragrance work for me and I've had it go horribly, horribly wrong. I was nervous. I admit it. I looked up Elemis in SCA and <laughs> I'll save you the search. All that comes back is people saying, yeah, I probably wouldn't use them. They're pretty scented. But I did it. I used this brand for two entire weeks, morning and night. I patch tested everything right along my jawline before I used it. And the truth is, I actually did overall have a good experience. I'm a bit floored that things went as well as they did because it's actually been a pretty stressful past two weeks. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but yeah, it's not, it's not been easy the last couple of weeks. I'm kind of shocked that I'm not covered in cystic acne. Now I did have a couple of little whiteheads, but that kind of was telling its own story for my skin type. Uh, when I travel, and I know I've said this before, whenever I travel, I do seem to get cystic acne. I think it might just be the anxiety of traveling. I get really nervous on the road, always, even if I'm not the one driving, I get so nervous. Anxiety translating to inflammation, translating to inflammation on the face. That's my theory as to why that happens. So I, I really had to sit down with the, my final results of this granted N equals one study and say, okay, what happened? Why did things go well? And here's my final conclusion. I think that Elemis does a really good job of having an anti-inflammatory brand. Bearing in mind that this will not hold true if you cannot use the fragrance. However, if you are able to, they really do have a lot of anti-inflammatory ingredients in their products. And again, overall, I had a good experience. So to kind of summarize Elemis, what they seem to be doing here is creating this experience through the scents, through the textures of their products and not leaving out the science. Some of their active ingredients include prebiotics, which of course are anti-inflammatory and anti-acne ingredients, 
as well as a lot of anti-aging ingredients, peptides, one we're going to really talk about when we get into the pro collagen line. So let's go ahead and get into individual product reviews. I'm going to actually do this by product type. We'll talk about all the cleansers together, all the moisturizers together, and all the masks together. So let's start this video off with cleansers. I bought both types of the pro collagen cleansing balm and it should be no surprise that I really did love this product. This is going to be in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I'm pretty tempted to buy another one, although granted, these little travel sizes will probably last me a while. If you've never tried a cleansing balm, it is one of few of those categories that I genuinely think is life-changing. Again, you don't have to buy Elemis in order to get a cleansing balm. You can buy Clinique, you can buy Vanilla, but there really is something nice about the luxury brands that do these cleansing balms. So my favorites for a long time have been the Emma Hardy and the Eve Lom. And yes, we're going to add Elemis to it. What convenient alliteration. It's just truly an experience. These smell so lovely and using them is, it's almost a ritual. It feels like a ritual of removing your makeup. You just put a little tiny bit of this into your palms, you rub your fingers together, and then you apply it all over your eyes, all over your eye makeup, all over lip makeup, and then you take a cloth, wipe it all away, and then rinse. That's it, it's done, and it feels so refreshing. Between the two that I tried, the Rose Cleansing Balm and the Original Cleansing Balm, I would say just pick whether you are a rose or not a rose person. It's an interesting division here, but you know what? There really is a dichotomy of people who like rose and people who cannot stand it. So honestly, it was really smart of Elemis to make the two categories. Let me try to smell them side by side, actually. Yeah, personally, I'm an original fan, but again, if you are a rose person, you may prefer the rose balm. They both work exactly the same both extremely effective. And again, when it comes to cleansing balms, I truly don't think that there is any, uh, when you get into the good cleansing balms category, including Clinique and Vanilla, they all work the same. It's just that these more luxurious types are more of an experience and that's it. So that's what it really comes down to. Next up, I tried the Superfood Facial Wash. I'm actually surprised by how much of this I went through. This is the one ounce size and I'm probably about out of it. Uh, I do kind of feel like I used a little more of it. It is a gel cleanser. I should be showing you these textures. Let me pull up my, my thumb, what are these called? Thumb hole sleeves? You guys remember when this was trending? I got this shirt from Goodwill. I'm like, ah, that can trend forever for me. So this is what the Superfood Gel Cleanser looks like. You can see it is just a gel. It's a little bit of an odd smell. It's very green. I'm gonna say that it's not my favorite cleanser. We're right back to that uh, cleansers where I'll probably forget about it over time. Uh, but you know, it's fine. It's not too harsh. It's not too expensive either. It, it gets the job done, but maybe it's just the packaging. I feel like I squeezed a lot out of this, so maybe the full size is better in this instance. But yeah, your basic gel cleanser, not a bad product, didn't stand out to me a ton. The irony of reviewing a luxury brand in a shirt from Goodwill just hit me in the face, but who's a beauty enthusiast who understands that completely? You know, you spend your money on something you love that's really expensive, and then you're like, uh-oh, I'm gonna be buying my clothes from Goodwill for a little while. Moving on, we have the Soothing Apricot Toner. Now, the full size of this product comes in a spray, and I truly wish I had tried that as opposed to this sample size, or travel size, rather. Because yeah, this is just your standard squeeze tube. You gotta have a cotton pad because it is not viscous enough to kind of put into your palms and rub onto your face. Uh, so this is not my personal preference for toners. I like either that viscosity or I like a mist. And I feel like without that, it's making it a little harder for me to judge this. Now I will tell you it is an alcohol-free toner, which of course I do appreciate. It feels very gentle. It has a nice apricot scent to it. Not a whole lot of apricot in it, but you know, it's just a basic toner. Uh, I think it's fine, and again, I do think that if I ever repurchase this, which I might because it's, again, it's not bad, uh, but I would never again buy the travel size on this one, or I would transfer it over to a, another mist. To be honest with y'all, Elemis, as if they're going to watch this video, uh, you should have this little travel size in a mist because that would be so convenient for traveling. Do you think I wanna travel and take all my little cloth pads? No. I would much prefer this in a travel spray. 
So just know that. Then we're gonna move into the category of moisturizers. And in my opinion, it is very true that there is one line within the moisturizers that absolutely very much stands out. It is, of course, their best-selling Pro Collagen Marine line. So from this line, I tried the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream, and the Pro Collagen Neck and Decollete Balm. What I'm gonna tell you is that their best seller, the Marine Cream, is single-handedly the product that stands out to me the most, if not just from the line, from the entire brand. Elemis has some pretty intense claims around these products. They say that they firm, smooth, hydrate. Pro Collagen Marine Cream is clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles in 14 days for skin that looks and feels younger and more firm. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I am a huge skeptic. I was like, okay, sure. A moisturizer is going to firm in a mere 14 days the exact length of my standard trials here on YouTube. No way. No, mm -mm, I didn't believe it. So let's start off with that hydrating claim. They're saying that this is supposed to hydrate the skin. A good moisturizer should do that. Humectants work really quickly. You should apply them. You should not feel dry. So yes, from the first time that I applied this to my skin, yeah, instant hydration. Again, not surprising. And you can get the same thing from CeraVe. How about smooths? Okay, so I believe in the ability of moisturizer to smooth as well. Basically, if you are applying a product with enough hyaluronic acid in it, with enough humectants in it, you should see any fine lines that you may have kind of temporarily plump out. Now, when you wash that moisturizer off at the end of the day, the effect is basically gone. But yes, while, it's, while that product is on your skin, you should look smoother. So yes, I agree. So what about this claim of firming? Well, I tend to not really believe in it, especially in a 14 day time span. Yes, I know I do two week trials and I'm observing results, but usually I don't see a ton in the aspect of firming. This is a very difficult uh, category to even conceptualize really. What does firming mean? Does it mean that if somebody has deep wrinkles, they're going to disappear? Because that's a lot to claim. However, you guys, I got to admit it, and I'm hoping that you can see it in today's video. You know, I do have an expressive face, and it often expresses the fact that I'm a little bit of a cynical person. I kind of frown a lot. Life frustrates me. What can I say? Every time someone cuts me off in traffic, you're going to get a, mm, why would you do that? And that happens every four minutes on the road. Am I wrong? However, if you just happen to notice this, and again, I don't know if you'll actually be able to see this, I feel like my skin is bouncing back a heck of a lot more than usual. Now, am I just gonna sit here and say, oh, Elements did it, they came up with something magical, let's buy it and move on with our lives. Heck, no, we're gonna take a scientific approach and see what the heck they put into this Pro Collagen Marine line that is doing something. So they say you've got rose in here. Okay. That's a nurturing and calming ingredient. I'll give you that. Mimosa, anti-inflammatory. Like I said, I do feel like I saw a decrease in inflammation on my skin, but then we have Padina Pavonica, and this is truly a unique ingredient. This is a brown algae. Now I got to kind of travel back in time and talk about my alginous trial really quickly. So I've done a lot of trials on this channel and most of them, the vast majority of them, haven't really you know, stayed in my memory as something that really was life-changing, with a couple of exceptions. Dr. Dennis Gross, Dr. Lily Fan, and Alginist. And out of all three of those, Alginist was the first brand to come along and really show me this massive difference in the fine lines on my forehead. And again, for those of you watching this, if, if you're new to this channel, I've never had any kind of work done on my face, just, you know, just normal skin. So at that time, I ended up doing a lot of digging into alginous whole claim, which is, of course, the algoronic acid from algae. And again, I feel like I'm seeing the same type of results from the same ingredient from the sea. So I did some digging into studies that have been done on this algae that Elemis is using, and I found one from 2017. This study found that this algae could actually 
put a stop to the degradation of hyaluronic acid in your skin. And this is really important to understand the role of this and why this would be so beneficial to the skin. So if you are stopping the loss of hyaluronic acid, you are getting more hyaluronic acid to stay in your skin. And hyaluronic acid is of course what helps you to plump out the skin. I genuinely feel like I'm looking at those results. You know, my skin is bouncing back like it did when I was more in my early 20s than my early 30s. And in addition to that, there's studies that show the antibacterial activity of these algae. A lot of it is kind of hinging on this idea of what algae does in nature or rather what it deals with. You know, algae does uh, kind of see some of the same stressors that human skin does. And again, I'm going back to what I remember from the alginist trial, uh, but you know, one of the main things with alginist is they say that algae is exposed to UV light, just like human skin. In addition to that, it gets exposed to dehydration from tides. Algae's got to fight bacteria, algae's got, you know, thermal stress, so it, it does make it a very interesting way to approach skincare. What exists in nature that could deal with the same type of stress as human skin? So ultimately, my conclusion here with this Pro Collagen line is well done. You guys chose a very, very good ingredient where I feel like I genuinely see the results. Now, while that said, this is not a sponsored video. I am giving you my honest opinion and I am holding up four different products here. So do you need to run out and spend well over $400 buying all of the full sizes of all of the Pro Collagen line. I'm going to say I personally think you don't. So the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream definitely does feel the thickest and the heaviest on the skin. And of course, it is nice to use a night cream that does provide you that extra emollient layer in your routine. Uh, but do you need to buy both of these in order to have a complete routine? I would say not necessarily. If you're interested in just dipping your toes into this whole Pro Collagen line, you can always buy the day cream and add an oil either under or over it. We just talked about a really nice oil from Physicians Formula. I'll link that video if you missed it. So you've got a lot of options for kind of, you know, incorporating a really powerful ingredient into your routine, but not breaking the bank in order to do so. They also have the Pro Collagen Neck and Decollete Balm, and this one surprised me because it was actually kind of lighter. I feel that when I've tried a neck cream in the past, uh, the one that I tried was from Strivectin. I believe that one was heavier. So this was just kind of a, I'm not really sure what to do with this scenario. They actually do have this one priced a little bit lower than the Marine Cream. But again, you know, your neck's not necessarily tremendously different from the skin on your face. You do want to make sure that you use a moisturizer on your neck in your decollete. You really do from the second you start using skincare. You should take that skincare all over. Uh, but do you necessarily need a separate cream for that? Not necessarily. And then we also have the Pro Collagen Marine Cream with SPF 30. I didn't try this because it does contain those chemical filters. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open this for you guys so we can see together if there's any kind of a white cast. Some people are able to use chemical filters, and if you are, good for you because if you can't, you're stuck with the sunscreens that leave a white cast. All right, so there we have the cream, and we'll kind of massage it in. It is a thicker cream. This is the exact same consistency of the regular marine cream. And yep, no white cast. So, you know, again, if you can use a chemical filter, I honestly envy you. There's only one that I've found that I can use. Uh, otherwise, I get a, a little bit of a stinging every time I apply a chemical filter. Yay for that allergy. So there you go. No white cast at all. Sinks into the skin just as well as the regular marine cream. Uh, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful product. It really is. It's a beautiful line. And again, if you have no qualms about buying the whole line, I don't think you'll be disappointed. But if you're on a budget, I really think you can just start with the regular marine cream, layer it over a sunscreen. Personally, I'd go with a little bit of a higher SPF, SPF 50. Uh, but yeah, beautiful product. The scent is not overwhelming. It is just a nice, light, kind of rose type of scent. No issues at all under makeup. Very, very comfortable on the skin. I think we covered everything. If not, ask me a question. I always answer. Anyway, the bottom line with these is I'm genuinely very impressed. I understand the hype. I see what you guys see in this line. Well done, Elemis.
I also tried the Superfood Night Cream, and this is one where they are claiming, the Superfood line is the one where they're claiming to have added prebiotics. Prebiotics indeed are anti-inflammatory. However, with this particular product, I think this is gonna be very hit or miss. At the time I started this trial, this was available on the Ulta website. It is not as of now, and I'm not tremendously surprised. It had a lot of very polarizing reviews. Some people absolutely loved this product and some did not. So let me show you a, a swatch of this. It is a very green cream, but it is lighter in weight than the Pro Collagen line. A very strong smell. This one smells very, very earthy, and some people do not like the smell. I do, because again, it smells like a health food store. I guess with this one, I feel like it could work for you, and if it does, you're probably going to love it. To be honest with you, I actually really liked this. Uh, but it does have some essential oils in it, some ingredients of concern, where if it doesn't work for you, it's probably going to really not work for you. So it's more of a risky purchase, in my personal opinion. But again, I did like it. Again, I do feel that it is anti-inflammatory. I'm gonna tell you right now, this video is about to take a turn. It really is, so just stay with me here if you're interested in knowing honest opinions, and if you're not, just know that we're about to get a little more critical on these products. So we have the Peptide 4 Night Recovery Cream Oil. I was pretty excited to try this because I'm a person who likes my night creams, I like oils, I figured, okay, this sounds interesting. You take a cream and an oil, you whip it together, what do you get? Uh, and you get pretty much what you would expect. That's exactly what it feels like, is a cream whipped together with an oil. However, I don't think this is an exciting product. First off, it's really high in coconut oil, and while I can use coconut oil with no problems, it seems that there are a lot of people that are not able to use coconut oil, so you've got a giant risk factor right here. It is high in coconut oil, so does it work for you or does it cause problems? But with this particular product, I kind of feel like that's all we have to comment on. That's the most exciting part of the ingredients. If coconut oil works, then great, you're gonna love this product. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's not that exciting. It's kind of, again, lightweight. Again, you could genuinely take your marine cream, whip it together with an oil, and get something that, in my opinion, is way better than this. So yeah, it's not a bad product, but it's not exciting. And I really think that, you know, peptides in your moisturizer, you can find those fairly easily. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a pass for me personally. So the final category for this video is masks. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, uh, I'm a little underwhelmed by not the act of using these masks, but specifically by the results and the, uh, the differences between these five masks. You know, again, Elemis claims that they master textures and experiences, and yeah, they do. Every one of these masks has a unique and enjoyable texture to it. It does feel like you're pampering yourself when you use any of these masks. However, when you get into the actual ingredients and you investigate the amount of actives in here or even the amount of the flowers that they are claiming are powerful in these, it's just not a lot. Granted, I think that I might be harder on this because I just filmed my Best of Peels video and we were talking about products that have up to 30% AHAs in that video. We are now down to products that probably have less than 1% of these actives, so it's a little hard to compare these to those products. In defense of Elemis, and again because I did do a lot of digging around this brand, I found that when you get a spa treatment, when you are actually going to a professional who uses Elemis, they are probably going to use products that Elemis does not sell. And the truth is, in some ways, you can argue that this is actually really smart. I was just reading on SCA the other day, somebody who used that, the ordinary 30% AHA and left it on for 45 minutes. Oh, it's not like it's not written all over that packaging, do not leave on for more than 10 minutes, but you know, you sell something over the counter, you let people take it into their homes, they can really hurt themselves with some of these highly active skincare products. So I think that in some ways you could say, you know, it's just a safe move on Elemis's part. They're selling you 
products that do a little bit but not a lot but also are unlikely to, you know, really harm your skin. Let me go ahead and tell you how I use these masks. You know, I've lived and learned not to overdo masks, period. So I used every single one of these five masks one time during this trial. And then on the very last day, I put all five on in different sections of my, my face and my hands, actually. You have to understand that every time I use one of these masks, again, because it was not going to be a situation of applying 28 times during this trial, I, I would apply the masks and sit down with my phone, looking at the ingredients list, taking notes on my second phone, and observing consistently what was happening. You know, I, I want to make sure that when I give you reviews, I'm not just kind of throwing something on and then talking about it two weeks later. I look at my notes, I observe everything that is happening, and with every single one of these masks, my notes are just, I'm not really sure I saw anything at all in the end. So on day 14, like I said, I put all five of these masks on, I waited the 10 minutes, I washed everything off, and then I went to Ara and I said, Ara, what are the differences? Because I don't see anything. She took her phone's flashlight and was looking and looking and looking and looking and looking, and she finally says, whatever you put on this section of your face seems to have reduced your pores a little bit. And I'll tell you, that is the claim with this mask. They claim that this helps to reduce the appearance of pores. Now, they also say that it is a kaolin mask and it is a non-drying mask. In fact, I gotta give Elemis some credit here because that's, a, that's an incredible find. That is rare and it is very nice to use. It does have oatmeal in it, which is a very nice calming ingredient for the skin, and I suspect what is giving it its texture because even though people in the reviews were saying, oh look, you can see the chunks of berries, the berries in this are fairly low. I guess overall it's fine. Again, it's really nice that it is a non-drying kaolin clay mask. Uh, but will I purchase it again? You know, no. There's a lot of other masks that are similar. And for me personally, I never feel that wash-off masks, as this is a wash-off mask, give me the same results as a leave-on mask or a leave-on serum. We have the superfood mask, which I did get in a full size, thanks to BoxyCharm. Anyone else? Uh, this one is... I actually think I might like this one a little more. This one addresses dullness, that's the claim on this one. And it actually has aloe as the first ingredient. So you've got an aloe and kaolin mask. That's interesting, that's interesting and it is unique. Uh, but in terms of actual results, I do feel that I've used a lot of masks that brighten much more so than this one. But you know, not bad, nice for pampering. We have the Peptide 4000 Flower Mask. I actually think this one was my favorite of the five masks. This one is glycerin, kaolin, and charcoal, plus less than 1% of lactic acid and white willow bark. Uh, it does look like charcoal when you apply it. So you leave this one on for 15 minutes. It does give you that kind of detoxified feeling. Uh, and I think that if you have acne, like I do, you'll probably enjoy this one. But again, you don't necessarily need to pay $45 for a non-drying charcoal mask. But it is these two masks that I was so disappointed in because I had such high expectations from these and I just feel so underwhelmed. Let's start with the papaya enzyme peel. So I've talked a lot about how much I love enzymes. I really feel like they do a lot in terms of brightening my skin. But with this particular mask, where are the enzymes? They are so low in this ingredients list. Most of what you're gonna see results from is the niacinamide in here, and you can get niacinamide for a heck of a lot less money. It's just a basic 10 minute mask. Okay, the fact that I have a cut on my hand that I, um, it's a mystery cut and I don't feel any stinging whatsoever on a cut should tell you everything you need to know about this product. Yeah, you're not getting a lot of enzyme action here. You're not getting AHAs. So what's the, what's the point? What does it do? I don't even know why I'm surprised to have a mystery cut after New Year's Eve. I bet it's New Year's Eve's fault. Oh, I know it's New Year's Eve's fault. And then we have the Dynamic Resurfacing Gel Mask. This one is the most expensive of all of the masks, $78.50 for 1.6 ounces. And what you're getting in this is a gel mask with menthol. That's basically what this is. We actually are gonna work around a little cut on my hand for this one, so yeah. Gel consistency, instant cooling, and I don't like it. I do not like 
that feeling of menthol on my skin, why would I want that? That's not doing anything beneficial other than creating a sensation that really feels like it's doing a lot, but in reality it's not. I'm just at an absolute loss with this particular product. I feel like if you're gonna call it dynamic resurfacing gel mask, I expect it to be an AHA mask, and yet all you have going on in this is enzymes, so why would you buy this when you could buy the papaya enzyme peel? Uh, what, what is this supposed to do? I feel like, I genuinely feel like the only thing this does is feel like it's doing something which is just not enough for me. Maybe I really should change my format so I'm not talking about the worst products last, but here we are, we've arrived at the end of the video, and I do wanna summarize by saying I'm actually overall way more pleased with this brand than I thought I would be, but that said, I'm not going to stick with everything that I purchased, obviously. Instead, I really do think that Elemis is a brand of enjoyable experiences, just as they advertise, a brand with an incredible line in that pro-collagen line, and a brand who does such beautiful cleansing balms. That is all we have for today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button and are subscribed, and I will see you guys next time.